Hi everybody, this is Dan, uh, Google Glass Explorer, developer, whatever you want to call me. Um, I've had Google Glass since uh, January of 2013, and um, <clears throat> with these prescription frames called Bold. And there's one thing that's annoyed the heck out of me for a long time, and it's uh, uh, something I just figured out tonight, uh, that if you have the head-on detection set up, like right now it just turned on because it detected it was on my head, uh, and you happen to ever move your prism in or out, then you screw up your, your calibration and it's not going to know it's on your head correctly and it's going to annoy the heck out of you. So tonight when I was at a function and I wanted to be tapping on here and recording stuff, it would not work because it was calibrated for when the prism was closer to the face and I had moved it back out away from the face while on the train to downtown Dallas. So for all you Google Glass developers and explorers out there, if you ever have head-on detection and um, for some reason it's just not reacting to anything, it might be because you accidentally or purposely moved your prism forward or backward and now the infrared sensor will not know if it's truly on your head or not and it will act as if it's totally off your head and not do anything. That is one of the hardest lessons I've taught myself and it took me a couple days or weeks to figure this out. The glass guides helped me out tonight. But uh, important safety tip. Thanks, Egon. Anyway, hope this was helpful for somebody out there. Google Glass is pretty cool. It's pretty cutting edge and it's for geeks and nerds right now, but uh, Someday when they lower the price from $1,500, not counting frames and prescription lenses, maybe if they get it down to about $200, which they probably will in a year or two or three, I think it will take on because it's a lot safer to be driving down the street and receive a text message on your face than it is to pull out your phone and look at it while driving because you can still look forward and drive. And look up for a second to see if you need to uh, respond to the text. And if you do want to respond, you just look up, and it uh, it knows you've you've seen the text, and then you can say, reply and talk to it, and it's all hands free. So, uh, it probably is the future. Have a good day.